Red International Gaspésie is a real adventure race, but it's a stage race. There's a mandatory camp on Friday and on Saturday night. All the athletes need to sleep in the tents. The stage race is faster for sure. When we compare a non-stop race and a stage race, in the end, the mileage is quite the same. But in a stage race, you get to sleep. Leaving the camps from their first night out, teams boarded buses that would transport them to a remote canoe start, deep in the mountains. Grabbing their boats, racers took to the lake and awaited the mass paddle start. The chaotic mass start had teams jostling for position as they raced two kilometers across a placid lake to a major bottleneck, a difficult swamp slog and a creek drag portage. Mud, beaver dams and log jams slowed racers as they pushed onwards towards the waters of the Petite Caspicadia River. A thrilling ride of near constant whitewater propelled the teams as they made their way downstream. Those who picked a good line were able to power through and gain positions as they worked their way towards the bike transition. Day two of Radio National Gaspésie. Great, fast biking, some really great white water on the Petit Caspicadia, and uh, some good mountain climbing right now. After reaching the transition area in a historic covered bridge, the racers would soon enter the mountains and trek to a series of scattered checkpoints. A challenging climb to the top was worth it, as the gain in elevation treated racers to breathtaking views of the landscape below. <laughs> At the summit, a unique CP inside a wind turbine awaited racers. Teams would then transition to bikes and begin the lengthy descent down to the coast. Then it was off on foot again, this time through tunnels, abandoned railway tracks, and thick bush. Upon reaching the coast, teams had to rappel down a cliff to the beaches, where they would begin a co-steering section. Combating tides, waves, cliffs, and rocks, teams pushed onwards to a quaint marina and a checkpoint located in a bar. Pushing towards the finish and fueled by the beverage, teams biked down an abandoned rail line and ran down the shore to the finish line of day two. My goodness, what a way to end it. Yeah? Thrilling, happy, and excited to race again tomorrow.